Some of the top stories we will be following up for you in the course of the day. And still, it is a big day in the education sector. Day three and the final day of the KCP exams. And get this, the Education Cabinet Secretary, Professor George Magoha, has said that marking of KCPE started two days ago and the results will be out in two weeks. This as the examination is set to come to an end within the hour, ushering an anxious wait for results. Now, our very own Clement Masombo is on the examinations bid this morning and now joins me live from Nyeri County with the latest Clement. It's the final day of KCP exams and focus shifts in earnest after the last paper to the marking process. What do we know so far? Good morning, Jesse. Indeed, it's uh, day three and the final day for the KCP exam that uh, started uh, started on Monday. And uh, with over 1.2 million candidates sitting for the exams, of course, being and the, this being the final day, most of them are excited and anxious, of course, to finish the first part of the 844 system because this marks the end, the final day for their eight, the, the, the eight years in primary school. And I was at uh, the Hillstead, near Hillstead Academy this morning, and I was uh, just in interacting with some of them and some of the teachers. Of course, they are happy and the expectations are very high. And uh, now that the CS has said that the uh, marking of the exam started uh, two days ago, of course, we are expecting that the results will be out the soonest possible. Because now that uh, the, 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 the candidates who are fin finishing the exams today are expected to report to school during when the official first term for the year 2022 starts, on, that is on 25th of September. And of course, yeah, also see, just speaking, I've also spoken to the County Commission of Nyeri a few minutes ago and he has assured me that everything from this part of the region actually is going moving on swiftly the candidates are uh, sitting for the exams as expected and there is nothing much that's it, that is happening and of course that's uh, that's what we shall be keeping our viewers posted on and also maybe just uh, to touch on the issue of insecurity in the parts of Baringo and other parts of the country the CSA yesterday said that they, as a government they have beefed up security to ensure safety of learners and safety of those uh, the uh, examination of officials and uh, they, they say that they will do anything possible to ensure that the learners are actually doing the exam from a very conducive environment despite the the issues of the bandits attacking and insecurity cases reported in such areas and also just to, to maybe highlight that uh, a few we have also seen a few candidates doing the exams from uh, hospital beds like in Nyeri County we have only one candidate who is doing a, his exam from uh, the Nyeri County referral hospital who got an accident just a few days to the exam before the examinations began and he was forced to do the ex exam from hospital because he could not make it to his school where he was uh, where he was uh, he, he was supposed to sit the exams from and also that those are just some of the cases that have been reported countrywide but uh, other major scenarios like the exam irregularities have not been witnessed so much this year and maybe that's uh, kudos to the government for the efforts they have done to ensure that the exams are done in a very good manner uh, uh, and also, of course, ensuring that we do not witness the issues of exam cheating and other exam irregularity practices. Jesse. Well, Masombo, thanks for that recap on the status update of day three and the final day of the KCPE exam.